Hawaiian Airlines could slash more than a quarter of its workforce this fall. Unions representing the airline's divisions were told more than 2,000 airline employees could be laid off within 60 days. That does not mean we're going to have um, 2,000 layoffs two months from now. Um, what, what that means is that if People are at risk of being laid off in this reduction. We, we name them in there. If we can offset that by uh, voluntary programs, that will reduce the number. If demand starts to improve and we don't feel the need to shrink that much, we can reduce that number. The company's CEO says notices listed about 25% of pilots and 35% of all other staff, flight attendants, airport workers, mechanics, and dispatchers. He says federal aid that covered 85% of labor costs since April runs out in September. They have not sought state aid, but they want the governor to expedite the travel pretest protocols, currently delayed until at least September 1st. I think that is maybe the single biggest thing that can happen to allow us to realize some demand and allow us our business to be able to function going forward so that we uh, can try and avoid these uh, these job reductions. The pilots union says they recently negotiated options for leaves of up to two years plus early retirement options all of which could cut back on involuntary layoff numbers.